Daniel travelled to Birmingham to work for Glynn at Purnell's, which is bang in the city centre, very different from his tranquil riverside location. Tonight, we'll give Daniel a chance to see how his rival operates on home turf and maybe give Glynn the chance to show why he's the reigning central champion. I'm a bit nervous tonight, if you want the truth. It's been 10 years since I've worked for anyone else. Because I gave him a bit of a run around, I'm expecting a hard time myself. Glynn's certainly planning to get his own back. Obviously, if he's not fast enough, we'll let him know. And if we want him to do more than one job, we'll let him know. And you know, we'll give him a little bit of a run around if we can. Oh, chef. He welcomes Daniel into enemy camp. Then it's straight to work. So what I do is I want to get Daniel, two-star mission chef, putting cornflakes on the plate. Let's go here. Let's have no egg casualties over there, yeah? No. No casualties. Nice and quick, yeah? With Daniel already on edge, Glynn throws him straight in at the deep end, plating up his smoked haddock signature dish. Shaky Is that right? A little bit shaky, yeah. Get, would you get the first one out? Eh? We sweep yeah. the coats, go. Daniel may have new boy nerves, but he soldiers on. How many of these? Uh, five or six train the outside. Can be a little bit... Uh... Rustic? Yeah, go, yeah, just get them on there. Yeah, a few more. A few no more? black ones, though, chef. No black There's ones. A black, black robe on there. They're all watching and they're all finding it funny. So the only day is, you know, the, it's, it's what I expected. Seven gougeres, straight yeah. to Brad's oven, two minutes. Glynn's been true to his word and is giving Daniel the runaround he promised. Do you want to cross off, chef? Yeah. And with a restaurant full of waiting diners, Daniel's being tested to the max. Does that mean they've had bread, chef? Yes, chef. Black rice? Yeah, white rice, please, chef. White rice in this one. Chef, we put curry oil on this one, is it? No, that oil over. Rosemary oil, please. Rosemary oil. I know it's burning, you'll be done for curry and everything, chef. Yeah? No. Not only are the chef's cooking styles very different, so is the way they run their kitchens. And it's leaving Daniel confused. Right, top or bottom, chef? Where would you like me to cross at this time? Now, you see, this one's slightly different because we haven't been there here yet. No. So, look, yeah, chef, look. Just saying, like, I'm right about consistency today, you know. Ch Sy things keep changing, I'm sure, just to f me up. System, chef, yeah? System. <laughs> What's that saying? You wouldn't know what system is hitting you in the face. Our systems are very different, there's no doubt about that. Mine's organised, his changes, has every check. I, I don't know if he was doing that to confuse me or just to wind me up, but at the end of the day, he's achieved both. And I'm going to be driving home all night thinking to myself how the hell he gets plates out of this restaurant every night. But with the orders flooding in, plates have got to go out. Next going to be a grilled four brews, three venison and lamb, yeah? That's going to be... It's going to be hard work, yeah, so get ready. Glynn may be a joker, but with orders waiting, things get serious, and it's down to business. Start with seven, yeah? Let's go, come on. Don't forget the couture, chef. No, I won't. Let's go. Too much in there, Daniel, yes? Do another one, please. Despite their different ways of working, Daniel finds his feet in Glynn's kitchen. Is that all right, Chef? Lovely, yeah, lovely. OK, these two can go. And the orders go out. I'll do the bush. Two bush on seven, Daniel. Yeah, Great stuff. Coming. I thought he coped quite well with it. I mean, obviously, we were squeezing a lot of it for him to run around. Even though we didn't feel as if he was, he was getting the system because he was sending the bush and then he was doing the gougeres. What Daniel's probably learned tonight is to beware of that brummy sense of humour. To be honest with you, I was totally blown away that they are totally organised and they do know what they're doing. OK, the system changed a little bit on there. 